Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dor and this is Every Cognitive Function in 15 Seconds. Enjoy! Introverted intuition. Creating an internal concept for something by completely disregarding how things are in the real world. Creating an idea of who you want to be or what you want to achieve or what you want to do that has no basis, no connection to the world around you or what other people think or what other people do or who you currently are. Introverted sensing. Defining what makes reality the way it is and understanding and defining the fundamental building blocks that make out life and our experiences. What makes for a fun party? What is tends to make people laugh? What lines or routines tend to provoke a certain reaction? What caused things to happen in a certain way? Extroverted sensing. Changing and affecting your environment and your feelings and the views of other people describing and defining the situation you are in. Something very extroverted sensing is feeling happy and pumped at a party and seeing somebody who's not happy and going up to them and making them laugh and smile and making them want to dance with you. Extroverted intuition. Going against the situation you are in and questioning the world you are a part of. Seeing a way things can be different to what they are wanting to change and transform your environment. Seeing people do something and to question them, why are you doing it? Why don't you do it differently? To see how things can be done differently. Extroverted feeling. Describing what you like and dislike, what you feel about the world around you, who you like, who you dislike, who you connect with, who you feel disconnected to. Explaining what you want and hope to achieve from a situation or what you want a world around you to look like. Extroverted thinking. Describing how things around you work and how to best do something. Setting standards for yourself by observing how other people do things and aspiring to live by these standards. Introverted thinking. Analyzing how people do a task and seeing ways things can be done differently, seeing how things can be improved, seeing how the fundamental workings of your environment can be changed by changing the rules and standards around you. Introverted feeling, introspectiveness, analyzing why you feel a certain way, why you like or dislike something and Trying to reach your values and your feelings and your ideals through analyzing and understanding what these ideals are and how to get there. The cognitive functions are necessary because introverts do not exist, extroverts do not exist, intuitives do not exist, and sensors do not exist. Feelers, they do not exist, and thinkers, they don't exist either. There is no pure introvert in the world, no pure extrovert, no pure sensor, no pure intuitive. Even the most intuitive of intuitives has some side to themselves which is rooted in sensing and facts and external reality or data. There is something about you that, even as a deep feeler, connects to thinking. There is something about the thinking type that is deeply rooted in emotions and values. So it's impossible to escape. The cognitive functions, they show how you are introverted and how you are extroverted, how you are intuitive and how you are sensing. Introverted intuitives under stress go into extroverted sensing. That means they are shaped by how the world around them is. If the world around them is in a negative way, they feel inherently responsible. I must have said something, I must have done something. It must have been something inside of me that was wrong. There must have been something I did or forgot to do that made the world around me so terrible. Introverted sensors under stress go into extroverted intuitive functions. They start thinking they missed something. They start thinking that they forgot about something. They start thinking that they've lost control of something. They feel that uh, they have... Uh, forgotten something essential and been unable to predict something that they should have been able to predict. Extroverted sensors go into introverted intuition under stress. 
they start thinking there is something wrong with them. They start feeling like there is something inside of them that is bad or something dark or something twisted about them. Extroverted intuitives go into introverted sensing. They start feeling like they are, they have failed their family, their friends, their expectations. They have not been able to honor where they come from. They have not been able to live up to the standards and expectations of others. Extroverted feelers go into introverted thinking under stress. They feel they have been stupid, they feel they have idealized things too much, they feel they have been misled or manipulated. Extroverted thinkers go into introverted feeling. They say they have been misunderstood, they feel that people don't get them, they feel that other people don't understand them or how they work or who they are. They don't know if they even understand themselves. Introverted thinkers under stress go into extroverted feeling. They start feeling persecuted by the tribe. They feel they are not welcome. They feel they are not accepted. They feel that other people are against them and their ideas. Introverted feelers under stress go into extroverted thinking. They feel they are bad people, that they are weak, that they are not strong enough. That they lack the power to do something about the world that they are somehow worse or broken compared to others. So this video was about the 8 classic Jungian functions and these are about the flow functions as opposed to the stress functions and don't be surprised as an ENFP if you find yourself relating more to extroverted feeling than to introverted feeling. Don't be surprised if you as an INFJ start relating more to introverted feeling than extroverted feeling. Don't be surprised as an INTJ if you relate a lot to introverted thinking and as an INTP if you relate to introverted intuition. Don't be surprised as an ESFP or an ESFJ you have extroverted feeling and extroverted sensing as your flow functions. Your flow functions can be found in the top four letters simply by twisting and scrambling them. You can find which functions in you naturally are extroverted and which naturally are introverted. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video.